Max. How you guys doing on this Wednesday, June 20th, 2024 MOD? Coming at you with another fucking video from the MOD Crypt. And if you missed anything in the past week, click the I bring down the menu. Everything is there to get caught up on all the latest videos. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. MOD giving you only the true elite underground metal as always. I want to welcome you to Album Ranking Wednesdays once again on the channel. And today we're going into the USA for a ranking of an awesome newer thrash metal band with Vector. One of my favorite new thrash metal bands, kind of like a Voivod 2.0. And they are pro a progressive thrash metal band from Temple, Arizona, forming back in December of 2002 under the name Locrian, then changed their name to Vector in 20, uh, 2004. They've also had some lineup changes, and in 2016, all members except David left the band and had a four-year hiatus coming back in 2020. They decided to reunite with Eric Nelson and two new members. So for the lineup, we have Eric Nelson guitars, David DeSanto vocals, Stefan Kuhn on bass, and Mike Olson doing the drums. All right, so let's just get into this ranking, shall we? So coming in at number five, we have the Demolition Demo from 2006. This is a really killer demo. There's a lot of great progressive thrash riffs on here, very scientific sci-fi lyricism and atmosphere going on here. There's some great guitar solos. Uh, the drumming is absolutely incredible. Lots of double bass on this and a really raw production on this one some incredible songwriting and a very memorable demo there's so much great stuff on here there's a lot of different elements coming through even a little bit of industrial i'd say very space sounding with its atmosphere and overall goal of definitely delivering some awesome thrash metal punishment demolition coming in at number five Coming in at number four, we have the demo Hunger for Violence, released in 2007 independently, so was Demolition. And this is a really incredible demo as well. This one's a little more evolved. There's a lot more thought process behind the songwriting, the guitar work, the drums, the bass, the vocals. Everything about it is just really, really killer. And there's a lot of memorable riffs, lots of memorable drumming and uh, lyricism and vocals. There's a great atmosphere on this album as well. It's a great demo. Uh, released in 07 independently like I said and just a really raw production on this one as well And it would definitely set the tone for the three full lengths that would come after this So yeah, number four hunger for violence coming in at number three We have black future released in 2009 on heavy artillery records This one definitely has some incredible peaks and valleys lots of emotion powerful guitars great riffs great drumming bass and vocals and like the album cover suggests, it definitely signifies a lot of what is supposedly coming down the pike towards us right now with a future of bleakness, very dark and hopeless atmospheres on this album emanate through the guitar work, the drums and the bass and the vocals. And it's a very, very well put together full length for their debut. Definitely want to get this album and definitely one you guys don't want to miss out on. So make sure you check out number three, Black Future. Coming in at number two, we have Terminal Redux, released in 2016 on Earache Records. This is another album that I think really uh, solidifies the band, and it's their third uh, full length, and it solidifies what I was talking about previously with Black Future. This one has a lot of that space travel atmosphere. It's very complex. There's some great riffs, drums, bass, vocals, amazing lyricism on this album, a very powerful presence to the guitar work, the drums and the bass, and some incredible songwriting, very memorable riffs, there's some great lead work on here as well, but a very, very time-traveling atmosphere, if you will, sounds like you're traveling through space and uh, in complete isolation, very bleak sounding album as well, number two, Terminal Redux. Coming in at number one, we have my favorite album from them, Outer Isolation, released in 2011 on Heavy Artillery Records, I have the vinyl. This one has a really powerful, profound atmosphere like the album cover suggests. It's like being lost in space on a desolate planet. Great fucking black thrash here. Of course, the, there is black thrash on all these albums, but this one really accentuates that with those vocals. And there is some black metal guitar work on here as well that I'm really a big fan of. Uh, drumming is absolutely incredible. Lots of blasting and frantic speeds, head banging, inducing uh, hooked inducing riffs and things like that and just an overall amazing listening experience with outer isolation and very dark and foreboding atmosphere on this one as well and I love the lyrics and the overall emotion and atmosphere that drives this record forward and really solidifies it into your subconscious mind and outer isolation is incredible uh, it comes in at number one I highly recommend everything on this list but yeah outer isolation man get it it's absolutely awesome hail the fucking underground 
All right, man, there you have it. Another album rank in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, subscribe, turn on the bell for all notifications. Merchandise coming up on the screen. We have the music of destruction, spread the plague, annihilate the human race. You have uh, four different colors, five different designs, woman's tee, long sleeve, t-shirt, unisex tee, and of course a hoodie. So yeah, really, really awesome stuff with that. And uh, just some great designs there from Janelle. She is coming up with more new merchandise. So I really do appreciate it, babe. Thank you so much. Also coming up on the screen, we have the MOD Raw Fucking Intolerance with the green lettering and the skull with the pentagram and the horns. Really looks awesome. Has me giving the finger, obviously. Four different uh, colors, five different designs on that one as well. She is uh, has come up with a brand new merch design that she will be posting to Bonfire very, very soon. I want to thank everybody. Who's been buying the merchandise? It's been greatly appreciated. If you want to join the channel, become an MOD Elite VIP. $4.99 a month. Hit the join button. You get access to review requests, top 15s, and album ranking, middle album warfares, band promotions. I'll promote your band, your live shows, your music, that kind of stuff. Member collaborations. Exclusive content for members to seed podcasts. I've been doing those a lot lately. Uh, we're coming up with a new podcast here on the channel with the Seed episode 50, The History of Blasphemy. You're also going to get early access to all new videos anywhere from 4 to 12 hours before everybody else. And you're going to get the Crypt Underground Metal Radio Show uh, live streams on Saturday night. Members only requests. That's going to be awesome. Make sure you guys join the channel. Thank you to all new channel members. Shout out time of the video. We have Barry and Rich, the silent producer of That Goat Metal Show. Eddie from Realms of Metal. Trevor, for, Trevor from Shredbeard. Mike Bogish. Uh, Mark Chaos Massacre. The Skull MCM. Make sure you check all those guys out. Also check out all the bands. In the description box, we have Hall of Calzaria, Cadaver Rite, and Mortiside. And Go to Mentis. Make sure you go and get your Go to Mentis albums, 30th anniversary CD and merch down in the description box below. That's going to do it for me. Have an awesome night. We'll see you for Metal Album Warfare Fridays and the War Metal stream later on tonight. Fucking hails.